Ah, the ocean breeze. Feels great on my pixelated face. Hey guys, I'm Michelle with Sub-07. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Last episode, we took care of the Island Palace, and in this episode, we're going off to sea. It's Link's Awakening! Oh, no, oh, no, that's definitely not coalent. But yeah, now we're in the next part of Hyrule. Um, what's over here? What the fuck? The fuck are these? Oh shit, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god! I don't remember these things. Nor do I remember them doing this much damage, Jesus. I'm just gonna... Do that. 20 experience for these things, Jesus. They deal a ton of damage. Oh, there's a pee- Oh, that's why, why they're here, for a pee bag. Of course. But yeah, now we're done with the Island Palace, we're gonna head into the next part of Hyrule. We're gonna be stopping by this place, so... Or not, we're gonna get into an encounter. What is this place? This is... Naboru. Spirit Temple. Favorite te favorite temple from Ocarina Time. I don't know why. No one really brings up the Spirit Temple. Everyone just hates the Water Temple. They like the Forest Temple. No one really talks about the Spirit Temple for some reason. It's like one of my favorites. With boots, I could walk on the water. What the fuck are you talking about? You ain't Jesus! But yes, that is a hint to our next objective. We gotta get boots. <laughs> boots that will let us walk on water. Just just your daily example of why... I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm at the time that I'm recording this, I haven't actually seen the results of the straw poll yet because, well, I'm actually recording this right after the last episode because I wanted this to be a bit more frequent. You were thirsty? Oh, I thought you were the healer. But yeah, we'll probably be getting that soon. Um, I don't know when. I don't know if I like post results in another video or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What do you say? See a man in Darunia before the islands. Interesting. What? Um. That's even less sensible than the last thing that made me question my life choices. What? How's it even possible? But yeah, there really isn't that way. What? Why is there, why is there a sign in the middle of town? Okay, I guess that's the sign that we're leaving. There isn't really much we can do here. Though she did say she was thirsty, so I guess that means that we gotta go get her a drink inside this cave. I mean, that's clearly where you go to get drinks, right? Man, I wouldn't know. I'm made of ice. I make myself into a drink. If you couldn't tell, I am a very complicated person. Oh. Get these vampires? I don't know. I, I don't really know what you call. I don't. I don't know enemy names in Zelda. Okay. I wish I did, but sadly, I do not. Okay, we're out here again. Oop. Now we're in a battle. Okay, I know these guys. These guys are Tektites. Classic staple of Zelda enemies. Even though Tektite really doesn't mean what you think it means by Zelda lore. No, seriously, go look it up. What the heck? Blue Octorox. Man, we're getting a lot of experience from- Oh, shit. Let's use Life Spell, because we're about to die. Get some more magic real fast, and let's move on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Man, that was we're just getting all the experience. Um, I don't remember where this bridge takes us. Let's... Oh. Oh, I remember this now. The maze of doom. Great, great name for a maze, right? The maze of doom. I think so, at least. Though I'm starting to remember why I don't record episodes one after the other. Because usually I take the time to stop and like observe my surroundings, check my check my uh, stuff to make sure that I know where everything is. So I'm actually just going into this completely blind. That's the next temple that we have that we have to go to. I don't remember the name of it though. I think it's the maze te the maze island. Oh, what the? Uh, 
Um, Lazolfos? Yeah, these are Lazolfos. Another, another staple Zelda enemy. You actually see them more than in Iron Knuckles nowadays. What's the? We found a child, <laughs> and we and apparently this child is a, is now ours, by the rule of Zelda standards. <laughs> I forgot we actually needed that for something. Someone's child went missing, and you need, and you have to bring them back to them. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, I just like how Link just nonchalantly lifts everything that he finds over his head. Like AVGN talked about this when he reviewed when he reviewed the game, and it's ki it's kind of funny. If you want to see that episode, I highly recommend it. Actually, it's very funny because <laughs> he's the only individual I've ever seen who defeats the final boss with the power glove. Then again, final boss isn't that hard. All right, so let's so we know the dungeon is over there. What? Well, what can we do over here? Oh, we can we can die. That's what we're gonna do. I can pretty much guarantee it. Or not. Not yet, at least. We got more sand. Oh, great. More of these guys. Somehow we're not dead yet, though. More sand and... Oh. Octoroks. I don't know why they, didn't, they felt the need to create blue Octoroks. And then we just drown. Brilliant. But as you can see, I didn't reset my my lives from the last from the last recording session. Basically because I I don't do that. <laughs> Unless you see it on camera, I won't I won't kill myself to reset lives. Well, something that I do always recommend it's a tip when you're fighting like boss fights in this game. If you're low on health, I just recommend killing yourself if you have more than one life left in stock and use that to reheal to like get all your magic back because it's. Honestly, one of the best things you could do. F fuck. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Death water, man. Freaking death water is out for blood this time. The Return of Death Water, the movie 2, featuring death, featuring Led Zeppelin as its son, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> that was the worst name for a movie I've ever come up with. Jeez. I hope you're getting great ideas for this, Proton John. I doubt he's watching, but I would be very happy if that happened. Now, here's the mountain town of Darunia. We were actually told to go next. Um, is there something down here? No. So someone literally just locked them, just left their door open. Probably unaware. Oh my. <laughs> the devil does not like noise. Well, I guess that's true, but how the fuck do you know the devil? Okay, that's the healing lady. Um, that's the magic lady. I think in the next session we actually have someone very important to talk to. Not that man. What do you say? You must save Hyrule. Well, no shit, Sherlock. And now you're a bat hanging from the sky. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just weird, sh weird shit like that happens in Zelda 2 all the time. I cannot help you. Well, fuck you too, then. Just everyone is hanging- is turning into bats hanging from the sky. Like, what the hell? Oh, this lady. I think this is the one. You are a hero for saving my child. Come. So yeah, we did actually need to save that child. I unintentionally did that first. Wasn't actually expecting to do that. Yeah, this is where the dungeons actually just kind of start to blend together. Oh. Next magic. This magic will strengthen... A shield. Now we get one of my favorites, the Reflect Spell. Notice though we have a gap between the spells. It's because we're actually missing one kind of important. Now we won't actually be seeing that one for quite a while. In fact, actually... Um... Hmm. Yeah, I think there's only two spells left that we, that we don't have aside from that one. And honestly, not of the, not many of them are, are that great. A powerful knight lives in this town. Okay, so that's something else that we need to know that there is in fact a powerful knight living here that we need to talk about. So the best thing to do is jump on the rooftops, of course. I don't remember what you have to do specifically to get the knight to, to spawn for you.
You know nothing? Well, you're worthless. If you're telling me to save your town, you really shouldn't just attack me like that? Bitch. <laughs> I don't know what's with me in the snarky remarks today. I mean, jeez. Where to save your child, so... I... Guess they're in another part of the town? Jeez. Like, wh where are we supposed to go next? What's the point of this place? This is a building with no door. What the, what the hell? What's the point? Oh, the palace has a false wall. That's a hint as well. We're gonna be start running, running into fake walls in the dungeons, and God, it is super irritating running into fake walls in that game. In this game. Like, a lot of, like, I, not to compare myself to other people again, but in Johnny's review of the game, he mentioned how it's kind of like Castlevania in a way, because there is also going to be, um, invisible, invisible floors at certain points. Come on. I don't get it. Where the fuck? The hell? Where am I supposed to go next? Um, let's try the jump spell one last time. Check the buildings, see if we can find anything. Missed. Can I crouch into here? Nope. That one's pointless, so I guess we're just gonna keep exploring. Oh, freedom! Oh, we're back in here. Fucking bubbles, man, Jesus. Like, if you thought bubbles were were a primary hazard before to Link's work hazard... Primary hazard to his work hazard. Jesus Christ. I cannot talk today! Then again, what else is new? I think there's supposed to be something around here. Don't quote me on that, though. Okay, nothing. If there really isn't anything, then I guess we're just gonna keep going. This is why I don't go through areas blind. Like, I would never finish Zelda 2 if I was to do it blind, because <laughs> I don't know the secrets normally. Also, we can't kill this guy quite yet. Just something to keep in mind. Also, I forgot to mention, there's actually something very important that we have to use the whole reflect spell for. Um, that's actually very vital for fighting the boss of the area, if I remember correctly. What the... What? What? Why do you have a, a road that leads into the ocean? Did you take your... Did you take your construction advice from Chugga Conroy? Jeez! Block. Block. Dodge. <laughs> now I'm just saying all, like, all of my commands on that. Uh, we got a boulder right here that we can break, so let's see what's over here. And get ambushed as well. Great. Because I believe there is actually something very important over here. I mean, why else would they put a boulder there? Fuck. Come on. There we go. Jump spell, jump spell. Now right around here. A 500 pee bag. Very, very nice. It's unlikely we're gonna- oh. Oh yeah. That's one of the palaces that we're gonna be going to. In fact, I believe that's the- that's the fifth palace, actually. Yeah, that's- that's level five. That's levels five. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to become Jesus to do that, though, so, uh... Link, I hope you've been reading the Bible, because you're gonna need to memorize quite a few verses. Uh, honestly, I think that 500 P-Bag was kind of a waste because we only have one life left and unless we can get back to town and heal, we're kind of boned. Also, that thing right there, that is something that we can't actually do anything about quite yet. We'll be getting an item later that will allow us to 
I think it's put beast to sleep or something or something like that. Something something that'll remove the beast basically. No one here. No, you're no one here. You're the guy who's way too religious. I remember now. The very religious man. Life spell just for this just for the hell of it. Get more magic back. And does anything change now that we actually got that spell? Is my question. What do you say? Oh yeah, you're that worthless thirsty bitch. I mean, there's a water fountain right here. What? Want to get some water. What? How was I supposed to know that you could do that? How's the player supposed to know you can do that? <laughs> you have water. Come to my house. How is anyone supposed to know to do that? I did that by complete accident. Like, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> well, it looks like we're getting the other wizard in this, in this episode. That's good, at least. Somehow making progress, even though I forgot how to make progress. This magic will make your sword shoot fire. Take a guess what the spell's name is. I dare you. Fire spell. That's what it is. Though it is actually kind of necessary as a spell, because... As you've noticed, some enemies have been resistant to my sword attacks. You can only damage those ones by using the fire spell. We won't be needing it for the boss of the fourth temple, or the fifth for that matter, I think, actually. Um... Hmm. I can't remember which one we're supposed to be fighting next. I don't remember which one specifically we're supposed to be fighting next. I think it's the one that requires the reflect spell. Because they're... Just to, just to put it into spoilers perspective, we have three bosses coming up. Well, not all in the same dungeon, mind you. We have the dragon boss, the wizard, and the ogre. The wizard spells you can reflect back with the, with the reflect spell. The dragon is just... Don't suck, and it's and the ogre is kind of the same thing, but I think he he's an easier fight with the fire spell. So really, that's about it. I'm gonna call the episode here a bit early because I do actually want to get back on track with my secret hunting, so we can get there any hardened life containers around here, <laughs> or hardened magic containers. Sorry. So yeah, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda 2: The Adventure of Link, we'll be doing just that and heading off to the fourth dungeon. See you guys then. Ice out.